Welcome to the Risk Forever channel guys. The channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your rank in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And in this series I will be sharing the best moves, strategies, tactics and players I find. So in this video I will show you a very smart master called Silver the Strict 34. It was subscriber game, so I was preventing the third player from getting continents, because the games when all smart players just hurdle, are extremely boring and just drag out in overall. I was the strongest player though, so the orange player decided to blitz my biggest army. The attack itself was completely fine because the balance of the game was sustained, but on the other hand it put us in the situation in which we should play very precisely in order for the green player not to win. So of course that I attacked green as much as possible, but then I fortified my army to South America hoping to recapture it, so the green player wouldn't be the only person with a continent, but apparently it was the biggest mistake of my life because only the territories of the orange player became accessible for me. Well not exactly. But what I mean, is that I have to capture a lot of territories of orange before I would be accessible to attack the territories of green. But obviously it would have been a bad decision to attack the territories of orange, when the green player almost has the same number of troops as me and orange combined. But that wouldn't have been that much of an issue because the green player unleashed my army by capturing Africa, if he wasn't smart enough to block my army by fortifying his Australian army to North Africa. That was a really smart move, because if I had attacked him with my biggest army from the other side by firstly having to capture a lot of territories of Orms, then I would have made even easier for green to win the game. So all I could have done is to try invading him into Africa with newly placed troops into Europe, but as you see I unfortunately failed. So everything has to be relied on Orange. He invaded Green into Australia and even took it from him, but I think it would have been better here just to invade Green into Australia, and then invading him into Africa too, and then to capturing some more territories to decrease his territorial bonuses. Anyways. The green player in his turn only ended up on having 10 troops less than both of us combined, but he saw the opportunity to get that compensated by getting my cards after taking me out. The blitz roll he had to make was a bit risky, and it could have gone either way, but fortunately for him he succeeded. So he got to have pretty much an equal end game with the orange player. Even though the green player had more territories and cards while the same number of troops, it seemed the orange player will still win by having one huge army. But I think he really made a mistake by unnecessarily splitting his army into different parts rather than trying to capture as many territories as possible with the whole of it. So at the end the orange player ended up with capturing less territories. But then the green player after trading in a set made a mistake by only invading South America, so it seemed the orange player will win again. But the green player got lucky to get an 8 troop set at 3 cards, while the orange player only got a 4 troop set at 4 cards. And with orange player already having quite less territories, the green player took over advantage and won the game. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you found the green player's blocking strategy valuable. And let me know your experience with it in the comments section down below.